More pressures mounting on the Defence Secretary Liam Fox over his links with his friend and former flatmate Adam Werity. The Prime Minister said he had full confidence in Dr Fox, although he's launched an urgent investigation into the claims. Labour's demanding a full statement about a series of allegations, including how much access to government Mr Werity enjoyed. Katie Razzle reports. In Libya, he should be basking in Britain's successful involvement in military operations there. Instead, Liam Fox was batting away questions about his links with Adam Werity. Um, as you know, uh, there are perfectly legitimate questions for democratic politicians, uh, as you'll discover. Um, we have already set out a mechanism by which those will be resolved in the United Kingdom. That reference to the inquiry by the Ministry of Defence that Dr Fox ordered this week into his working relationship with his best man. Mr Werity a friend, but not, as his business card has previously stated, an advisor. The latest allegations, that Mr Werity set up and attended a meeting in Dubai in June between Dr Fox and a company interested in selling technology to the MOD. The firm's chief executive told the Financial Times he'd assumed Mr Werity had security clearance like everyone else in the room. The Labour hounds chasing Dr Fox are scenting blood. The Secretary of State should know that he should take uh, MOD officials to meetings like that and certainly knows that if classified information and uh, intelligence being discussed, he should not have somebody in the room who has not got security clearance. Other allegations include that Mr Werity ran a charity from Dr Fox's taxpayer-funded office in Portcullis House when the now Defence Secretary was in opposition. Pictures have emerged of a meeting between Dr Fox and the Sri Lankan President this summer in which Adam Werity is clearly visible, though this was not an official visit by the Defence Secretary. One MP I spoke to today said the allegations were embarrassing, but certainly not a fatal blow to Dr Fox. The Defence Secretary says he told Mr Werity his business cards were unacceptable. It's unclear at what point he discovered his friend was describing himself as his advisor. Channel 4 News has been examining the programme from a conference in Israel two years ago. Dr Fox was a contributor. If he'd looked, he'd have also found Adam Werity's name and self-styled role on the list. The Prime Minister hasn't always seen eye to eye with his Defence Secretary. David Cameron was said to be frustrated last year after a series of damaging leaks from the Ministry of Defence. The mole was never found. Today, though, he is on side. The Prime Minister has full confidence in his Defence Secretary, we were told. But later this afternoon came a directive from David Cameron. The initial findings of the MOD's investigation, due in two weeks, must be on his desk by Monday morning. What Downing Street has said is they don't want the independent inquiry by the civil servants at the Ministry of Defence to drag on and they want some kind of interim report on Monday so that facts that are very much subject to speculation at the moment can be quickly established and hopefully, as I expect, Liam Fox to be allowed to carry on in his job. So what does it boil down to? That a man claimed he was an advisor to Liam Fox when he was not. That he went on trips, seemingly in the company of the Defence Secretary and that he may have benefited from his friendship with the minister. The question, whether any inappropriate gain came from their relationship and how much did Dr Fox know? Labour is demanding Dr Fox give an emergency statement on Monday.